हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी हैव विशाल साहू विद अस सो विशाल इज यू नो वन ऑफ द पर्सन हु कैन इंस्पायर अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल बिकॉज ही हैज डन हिज बीसीए बैक इन 2020 uh during covid time and it was a distance you know bca and after that he has worked for big companies like amazon phone pay noon and now also he is working with a product based company you know right sharing company and he is doing really good as a analytics engineer there so his journey is very inspiring we will talk about it how he moved from bca to analytics what are the salaries what are the skill set required to move into product based company so this is going to be a very fantastic podcast so please do listen sit back and relax and welcome vishal to the channel uh would like to introduce yourself little bit and then we will go ahead sure uh thank you ankit for inviting me glad to be here so talking about myself uh i am vishal uh i hail from the city of alabad and Uh, i have done my bachelor's as you mentioned in computer application from indira gandhi uh, national open university back in 2020 and uh, i have worked for companies like amazon phone pay and noon as a uh, senior data analyst and con- currently working for a uh, big product based company yeah great so vishal a lot of students come to me you know they are doing bca or bsc or not doing btech basically and they ask that they can can they become data analyst how they can move into analytics so have as you have done it can you talk about it little bit what it takes to come from non btech background and move into analytics sure uh, so yeah i see a lot of people confused in this because uh, they often like think that if they don't have a technical degree they will have some difficulty in getting into a data analyst profile but that's not the case it's completely opposite i think because uh, with the current market and situation if you are skilled at something if you have skilled yourself up and you're good at what uh, you want to target for then i think uh, your degree won't hinder you or won't stop you from uh, becoming whatever you want to so yeah uh, i think like your journey uh, sure it would be uh, not a piece of cake it would be some challenging but uh, if you have uh, uh, like data like if you are determined and if you have aimed for something be sure that uh, be confident and be sure that you would be able to crack it so you were doing bca how come this came to your mind that you will be going into analytics what was the trigger point uh the trigger point was actually uh, the place that i was working with so uh, uh, i may have not mentioned but uh, when i joined amazon i did not start uh, as a data analyst or uh, in a data profile i just started as an associate uh, where i had to some uh, i had to do some manual work as an l2 associate and uh, what i saw there was a lot of data involved and uh, the data was coming from somewhere and i wanted to be that person uh, who can pull out his own data and work on those analysis it always intrigued me and i wanted to learn those skills whatever they have learned so i did few courses from coursera and i did some projects to basically learn and uh, then luckily uh, there was an igp in amazon for a data associate role which i applied for and i got into it okay great great yeah. so what are the skill set you started with when you started your analytics journey right that is a important thing because lot right. of people are confused what they should learn they should learn r they should learn python tableau power bi there are so many things so what are the core skills that one should have yes so uh, the core skill that one should have they can simply start with uh, learning excel i think excel has a lot of potential and uh, if you are working in a data profile you will sure use excel at some point of your time and if you are good at excel uh, then it, that's a cherry on cake but apart from the, uh, that i've seen uh, sql has a lot of weightage in these interviews where 80% of the rounds uh, that technical rounds would be purely based on sql so you are sh- you should be good with sql so if i learn excel sql and one optional uh, visualization tool i think you're good to start with and you should not confuse yourself with uh, a lot of like other tools or learning everything uh, at once but yeah try to be good at uh, these two skills and take that to advanced level as well and then you can target for any companies or target for any interested roles great so you are talking about sql so lot of students you know they learn sql 
but their issue is they are not able to solve during the interview they are they are not right. able to solve the complex problem so how did you overcome it right so yeah uh, even i was rejected at first uh, with some of my interviews and i learned this the hard way that sequel like simply learning sequel what sequel is what the theory questions are you won't be able to crack the interviews as long as you practice for it you need a lot and lot of practice and you need to solve a lot of problems to be good with sequel and sequel is simply if you like uh, break it out it's a query language so you should be good with querying the data and you should be able to perform operations on data just using sql so if you're confident that you uh, you have uh, skill yourself up to that level i think you're good to go and uh, you need to practice like there is a lot of websites where you can practice for free like lead code hacker rank and all these websites they offer like such interview questions that have come in the past uh, for these uh, good companies they have those questions and i think if you look at the example you will slowly and slowly learn and understand what as what is uh, like currently asked in interviews and uh, what your preparation should be okay great so you are saying learn excel learn sql and one bi tool right right what about python do they ask python nowadays in analytics interview or have you prepared for it it depends like if you are applying for a role and if you if the company ask uh, python in the job description yeah you need to learn python as well and i don't think like python in python if you are interviewing you will be asked a lot of advanced or challenging questions python simply uh, you would be asked on uh, pandas creating data frames uh, solving some uh, sql related problems using pandas so uh, it won't be a very uh, hard problem and it would be simply a typical problem that you can easily solve if you have like learned pandas it uh, like uh, from somewhere so yeah uh, you should not worry much about python it's just optional uh, not all of the jobs require python but yeah it's a good to learn skill okay the fundamentals are enough the basics yeah. of python data right. structures and all and then pandas i think this is good right. enough yeah. right because mostly python when you are going for data engineer interview then python you will be grilled down but for data analyst profiles i think basics is enough right 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 the f- focus is more on sql i feel overall on the yeah i also i feel power bi tableau interview questions are not asked very much again the focus is right. on sql right what do you think do, do they yes, ask bi uh... questions yeah uh, that's like very uh, like a good point to uh, talk about so in sql uh, you can be asked to share your screen and solve a problem but that won't be happening for power bi if you have learned python like power bi basics and you could answer a few questions uh, then i think you're good with power bi questions and uh, it's it's an optional subject like uh, kind of an optional skill that you can have but yeah uh, they won't grill you on that okay that's a good point actually because lot of people spend lot of time learning power bi building this and that i think people should focus more on sql right right yeah so can you tell me what all resources you use to learn sql so that it will benefit everyone watching this podcast so uh, i'm very glad to speak uh, on this because uh, my main source of learning came from your channel uh, i was a vivid uh, follower of your channel i watched all of your videos even like uh, i have i started watching your videos back in like i think when you started in 2020 i used to follow each video i had put my notification on so uh, i was able to learn so like what sql is from internet or from watching some 2 hour or 3 hour videos but to be able to practice to be able to learn, then implemented that knowledge to solve some lead suggesting us to uh and that like prepared me much so i think if you know like what kind of problems are there and um, if you can solve problems using sql uh yeah then i think you're good to go okay great so you have now four years of experience around right what kind of salaries are available right. in market if we talk about so, so you are in a product based company right what kind of salaries people can expect in analytics domain as a fresher or as a 3 4 years of experience 
so as a fresher i would say like you can uh, easily like target uh, the range of around 8 to 15 lpa there are good companies who offer that uh, range but if you're targeting for a small startup or if you don't have a like big degree or something i think uh, you can even expect the salary to be 5 to 7 lpa but yeah that is an average range and you would get some uh, somewhere in that range uh, as well uh and for like uh, experience i think the salary range is quite motivating because if you have experience of around 2 3 years you can simply like uh get salaries around uh, 15 to 30 lp as well and there is like even more than that i have like uh, seen some some of my friends having like in the bracket of 40 lp as well with just be uh, having two or three years of experience so yeah salary ranges are great in the market for this role and it depends on the company and your experience uh, to be in that bracket okay another question that comes to me often is we don't get calls from product based company so a lot of people are working in service based company and they want to move to product based company but they are not getting calls right they apply on uh, they they create their profile on nokri or i don't know how much people are utilizing linkedin so can you tell me how did you get call and what are the tricks to get call from big companies so uh, to get calls from good companies i think your resume has uh, a lot of weightage and your resume should speak that you are a data enthusiast and you it should state points that are directly related to what you have done and what projects you have mentioned it should be interesting that you have done uh, these 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 analysis you have worked on this data set and your analysis was this so if you have stated good projects on your profile Uh, like on your resume and uh, if you have worked previously like if you have some experience i think uh, the description of that experience should be apt and it should state points uh, like uh, i have done some some uh, sort of this project and gain this much of uh, growth so it should speak numbers as well as uh, the weightage of the point should be more focused on the projects so if okay. you have uh, those points in your resume i think uh, yeah you're good to go okay okay because uh, what happens i have seen two kinds of resume one kind is people will put everything whatever is there right. on earth they know sql they know python they know java they know everything right aws gcp right and but when you go to interview they they don't know anything right and the other kind of people who will right. put limited things three four things what they know right if you ask about them they will tell it so i think people should understand it that no one will no one is looking for a uh, you know one company in a one person right there are right. different roles yeah. available in the company so you should focus on one thing if you are focusing right. on data analyst thing then focus on two three skills that you mention excel sql right. power bi and little bit of python right so that that is something everyone should understand they so people will learn everything they will go for aws certification gcp certification but they should stay with two three technologies because for the human also it is not possible to learn so many right. things right you can just focus on two three things learn that you know practice it more so that if anything is as anyone is asking about that thing at least you are able to tell it right, right. now they will put machine learning as well data science as well in for the analyst profile and when they will be asked then then they will not be able to right. do it right so that's right. the problem so people i hope people will get some message from your story but it is really inspiring i have not seen many people from bca to this so so how it looks like how is is it in your family how they feel about it that you moved into analytics most of the people will be like from engineering background or mba background right how it feels right. from bca to move into analytics big companies i think uh, to talk about this i think it feels like a dream because i never expected to uh, crack these companies and I, i never expected to be where i am but yeah i just had the will and i uh, had big dreams i knew like i had the confidence that i could achieve something if i am good at something so uh, the previous point that you mentioned uh, i would like to speak on that as well so uh, what even i did uh, as a beginner was simply stating a lot of skills on my resume but it's one thing to just state those skill uh, on your resume and it's another thing to be good at it so try to be good at one thing or try to be good at something and target those things and uh, just don't learn something for the sake of learning if you are also uh, someone who likes numbers who is uh, who finds it uh, like very interesting and is curious about solving problems i think uh, you will get to the success uh, 
before anybody else and yeah uh, back to me again so a lot of people find this uh, motivating but i have just done uh, whatever fe- felt uh, uh, like uh, to do at that point and i have never felt uh, demotivated or self rejected myself in any of these companies uh, sure i have been rejected by a lot of companies but yeah if your will uh, and determination determination is uh, bigger than your setbacks i think uh, you can achieve anything great 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 vishal one last point what do you think about having a domain knowledge in the analytics field right so lot of people you know switch jobs like you have switched jobs right around four jobs in four years so first of all right. can you tell me about this thing that there is this uh, people will tell that if you are changing jobs very frequently it will impact your profile so is that true or is it right. okay to change frequently uh it's not something that i would highly recommend but yeah for me it worked out i never faced challenge sure there were some companies that had uh, like grilled me on that by yourself but i always had a good solid reason with me so uh, i was able to tell them why i switched and they were convinced so uh, if you have done so as well you should be very clear with uh, how you like how you plan to do at your next company and why uh, what was the reason behind your switch so you should be uh, be very clear about yourself and your uh, aspiration so unless that and i don't think anybody would have any objections okay mm-hmm. great vishal um, it is really inspiring talking to you knowing about your journey and thanks for coming here and sharing all of that with us i hope people will take some inspiration and more than more people will join the data analytics domain because i feel it is very fascinating and if you like working with numbers you will really enjoy it your work will not just be work that you have to do a 9 to 5 job but you will have interest and you will want to work more you know on this domain so thank you vishal for joining us yeah. wish you best and have a good day